Hello students, myself Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is about classification of arches. So let's begin. This classification of arches is mainly divided into three types, according to shape, according to number of centers, and according to materials and workmanship. In according to shape, there are mainly 10 types of arches, which is shown in this uh, slide okay like flat arch segmental arch semicircular arch horseshoe arch pointed arch or you can say gothic arch valentian arch florentine arch uh, relieving arch and then stilted arch semi elliptical arch etc okay these are the various types of arches according to shapes types of arches according to number of centers are of five types like one centered arch two centered arch Three centered arch, four centered arch, and five centered arch. Okay, and according to material and workmanship, there are mainly three types of arches, in which first is stone arch, second is brick arch, and third is concrete arch. In stone arch, there are various types of arches like rubble arch and ashlar arch. In brick arch, there are mainly four types of arches like rough brick arch, X uh, rough cut brick arch, gauge brick arch, or purpose made brick arch. Okay. And in concrete arches, there are mainly two types of arches, concrete blocks unit arch and monolithic concrete arch. Okay. So these are the various uh, types of arches. Okay. What you can say the various classification of arches according to shape, according to number of centers and according to materials and workmanship. We will see all these types of arches in today's lecture, starting with classification of arches according to shape in which first is flat arch, okay? A flat arch has usually the angle formed by skew backs as 60 degree with horizontal, thus forming an equilateral triangle with intradose as the base, okay? The intradose is apparently flat, but it is given a slight rise of camber of about 10 to 15 mm per meter width of opening to allow for small settlements, okay? However, the extradose is kept horizontal and flat Okay, these flat arches are used only for light loads and use, it is used only for spans up to 1.5 meter. Okay, this is how flat arch can be look like. Okay, second is segmental arch. This is the common type of arch used for buildings. The center of arch lies below the swinging line. The thrust transfer to the abutments is in an inclined direction. Okay. This is how segmental arch looks like. Okay. Third is semicircular arch. This is the modification of segmental arch in which the center lies on the swinging line. Okay. You can clearly see this is called a swinging line. Okay. The center lies on this swinging line. Okay. The shape of the arch curve is that of semicircular shape. Okay. The thrust transfer to the abutment is perfectly in vertical direction since the skew back is horizontal okay here you can clearly this skew back which is the starting of the arch is the horizontal not the inclined okay next is horseshoe arch the shape of this arch is looks like horseshoe okay the arch has the shape of horseshoe incorporating more than a semicircle okay such type of arch is provided mainly from architectural consideration this is how horseshoe arch looks like okay next type of arch is pointed arch okay this is also known as gothic arch it consists of two arcs of circles meeting at the apex point okay the triangle form may be equilateral or isoscales in the later case it is also known as lancet arch okay you can clearly see equilateral arch and the isoscales arch in this figure okay this is how pointed arch looks like. Next is Venantian arch. This is another form of pointed arch which has deeper depth at crown than springing. Okay, you can clearly see the depth uh, is comparatively more at crown. Okay, it has four centers all located on springing line. Okay, you can clearly see O1, O2, O3, O4 are this 
uh, you can say these centers of an arch okay which is located on the springing line okay next is florentian arch this is similar to venetian arch except that the intradoors is semicircular okay the arch has thus three centers all these centers are located on the springing line like o1 o2 and o3 which is shown in this figure okay next type of arch is relieving arch this arch is constructed either on a flat arch or on a wooden lintel to provide great strength okay the ends of the relieving arch should be carried sufficiently into the abutments okay the relieving arch makes it possible to replace the decay lintel later without disturbing the stability of the arch okay you can clearly see the ends of relieving arch is uh, inserted into the abutments okay and this is how relieving arch looks like next type of arch is stilted arch this stilted arch consists of a semicircular arch with two vertical portion at springings okay the center of an arch lies on the horizontal line through the tops of vertical portion okay this is called as stilted arch next is semi elliptical arch this type of arch has the shape of semi ellipse okay you can clearly see the shape is semi ellipse it may either three centers or the five centers okay these are the various types of arches according to shape now let's see the classification of arches according to number of centers like one center two center three center four center and five center starting with the one centered arch uh, segmental arches semicircular arches flat arches and stilted arch comes under this uh, category which is one centered okay sometimes a perfectly circular arch known as bull's eye arch is provided for circular windows like this this is called as bull's eye arch which is generally provided for a circular type of windows okay in one center arch only one, one center is there okay you can clearly see in this figure only one center is given and from that center arch is drawn okay second is two center arch the pointed arches comes under this category semi elliptical arch and florentine arch also comes under this category in which two centers are there and based on this two center uh, the arches are formed and connected at the apex point okay this is called as the two center arch next is three center arch elliptical arches comes under this category in which three centers are there o1 o2 and o3 are the three centers here in this three center arch okay which is usually placed at 1/6 of l 2/3 of l and 1/6 of l okay next type of arch is four center arch it has four centers in construction okay like o1 o2 o3 and o4 the venetian arch is the typical example of this type of arches okay another example of four center arch is tudor arch okay which is shown in this figure okay this is called as tudor arch which is drawn with the help of four centers okay which is placed at l by 4 l by 2 and l by 4 okay so this is how four center arch can be constructed and the last type of arch according to number of center is five center arch it has five centers o1 o2 o3 o4 and o5 okay it gives a good semi elliptical shape okay so this semi elliptical arch is the best example of this five center arch okay so this is the classification of arches according to number of centers now let's see the classification of arches according to material and the workmanship in which first type of arch is stone arch based on workmanship the stone arch subdivided into two types like rubber stone arch and the acrylic stone arch okay let's see first rubber stone arch this is how rubber stone arch looks like this rubber arch is a very weak and used only for inferior work okay this is not used for normal type of work these are used up to the span of only 1 meter okay these are made of rubber stone which are hammer dressed roughly to shape and size and fixed in cement mortar like this okay sometimes these are also used as relieving arches up to a depth of 37.5 cm 
but these are constructed in one ring okay if the depth is more we can go for two rings in alternate course of headers and stretchers okay this is how you can construct treble arches now let's see the second type of arch in construct uh, stone arch which is ashlar type of arches in this type of arch the stones are cut to proper shape and wazers and are fully dressed which is set in lime or cement joints with proper bed joints okay you can clearly see this is called as ashlar arch which is constructed with the help of a uh, proper shape of stones okay or you can say fully dressed stones okay this is used up to depth of 60 cm the vases are made of full thickness of the arch for determining the base shapes of vases it is required to set out the arch on a level platform marking on it the keystone and vases along with radial mortar joints okay there are various forms of ashlar arches like semicircular arch segmental arch flat arch etc okay ashlar stone can also be used to make flat arches in which the joints are either joggled or riveted okay you can clearly see the joggled joints as well as riveted joint which you, know, you can use in construction of ashlar arches okay the next type of arch according to material and workmanship is brick arch uh, based on workmanship this brick arch is subdivided into four types like rough brick arch x brick arch cast brick arch purpose made brick arch etc first of all we will see rough brick arch these are constructed with ordinary bricks without cutting the shape of vases okay this is how rough brick arch looks like the arch curve is provided by forming wedge shaped joints with greater thickness at extra doors and smaller thickness at intra doors okay so it looks unattractive that's why it is not recommended for exposed brick box okay so uh, for exposed brick work you cannot use rough brick arch because it, it looks uh, unattractive okay there are also some other types of uh, brick arch you can use in exterior works okay second is x brick arch in this arch the bricks are cut wedge shape with the help of brick x okay due to this the joints are of uniform thickness along the radial lines which is shown here in this figure however the appearance of arch is not very pleasant because the bricks cut to wedge shapes are not finely dressed okay if the wedge shape cut of bricks are of finely dressed it looks very decent okay so this is called as x brick arch next is gauge brick arch this type of arch is constructed of bricks which are prepared to exact size and shape of vases by cutting it by means of wire show okay the surface of brick are fine dressed with the help of a file for this only soft brick called rubber bricks are used the joints formed in gauge brick arch are fine thin which is 1 to 1.5 mm thin thickness and truly radial okay and for uh, jointing lime putty is comparatively used in this type of catch brick arch okay this is how catch brick arch looks like okay there are uh, two types of catch brick arch uh, flat catch brick arch and semi circular catch uh, brick arch okay this is the flat catch uh, brick arch okay next is purpose made brick arch in this type of arch the bricks are manufactured matching with the exact shape and size of vases to get a very fine workmanship so for exposed brick work you can use purpose made brick arch okay and for uh, jointing uh, you can use lime putty he here in this type of arches okay this is how purpose made brick arch looks like in which uh, the bricks are used of exact shape and uh, the size of vases okay that's all about the brick arch next is concrete arch based on workmanship this concrete arch is subdivided into two types like brick arch block arch and monolithic concrete arch first of all we will see brick arch concrete block arch this is how brick arch concrete block arch looks like in brick arch concrete block arch is the blocks are cast in molds to the exact shape and size of vases then for keystone and skew bags special molds are prepared 
okay this will give good appearance because of excess shape and sizes the choice of this uh, precast though uh, made of cement mortar uh, which is quite thin okay casting of blocks is costly and such work is economical only when the number of arches is quite large okay when the number of arches are more you can use this precast concrete block for economy point of view okay uh, the cement concrete of 1 2 and 4 mix is usually used to construct this precast concrete blocks okay here one is cement part two is uh, sand part and four is deco aggregate part okay so by this way you can uh, manufacture these uh, precast concrete blocks and you can use this precast concrete blocks to make this precast concrete block arch Next type of arch or uh, concrete arch is monolithic concrete arch. This is how monolithic concrete arch looks like. This is suitable for larger span. These are constructed from cast in situ concrete, which is you can say on site. Okay. This may be either plain or reinforced depending upon the span and magnitude of loading. Okay. And the arch thickness is uh, 15 centimeter for arches up to three meters span. Okay. Formwork is used for casting the arch and remote when concrete is sufficiently hardened and gain strength. Okay. The curing is done for two to four weeks. Okay. This is how you can construct the monolithic concrete arch. That's all about the concrete arch. That's all about the classification of arches. Thank you for watching.